and he is that person that is going to win. And mark our words. And I know you've been predicting this, we've been waiting for it, and we do have some breaking news from the decision desk. NBC News can now project that Donald Trump has won the state of Wisconsin, which means he is the winner of this race and will return to the White House as this country's 47th president. Trump is the Antichrist that is representing Nana on the planet. Trump doesn't really play ball with the Tea Party and all of that. Like, he's his own man. He does his own thing. And the master broke down to us how on the, in the eighth year... Now, a lot of people took it to mean that Donald Trump was going to be in office for two terms because the first term is four years, second term is four years, so it'll be eight. But, you know, he said the eighth year. This year is the eighth year. And as you can see, he's running again. And he is that person that is going to win. And mark our words, because the master teacher has been giving us information for many years, 50 years ago. So a lot of what's going on on the planet today is no coincidence, yeah? Yeah, so obviously the result has come in with Trump winning and everyone's like, so how do you feel about Trump winning? You were right, you said he was going to win. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm not surprised because... The master teacher told us this a long time ago. Now, what I want to be pleasantly surprised is to see if he's not what I said he is, let him free the master teacher. That will show us because, you know, we've had administration after administration and we've been um, asking for, you know, assistance with the, the release of the master teacher with, you know, the petitions we did like for Obama and so on. So for us... Unless we see different, you know what I mean? I'm sticking to, to what I said. And it's quite funny, like, looking at his, his character. I actually, I do like Trump. I like his, his character. He's actually quite entertaining, very different. Like I said, he doesn't really play the ball of the Democrats or the Republican Party. He's just, like, he's got his mind. He's a good businessman. And he's about economics and making, you know, the country great again. Whether that's possible or not remains to be seen. Um, you know, we just teach information based on the, the doctrine and information that the master teacher has taught us. But when you look at his character, um, it's, what's interesting as well, I noticed that um, when Hitler was running, um, he actually did a, a rally on, um, you know, the Madison Square building. And I, ironically, Trump did the same thing. Um, on um, October 27th, which was really interesting because I was trying to figure out, hmm, what's the likelihood or is that a coincidence that they both kind of rallied and did that and uh, in the same place? So, you know, you can make of that what, what you will. Um, yeah, Trump's, Trump's is about business. He wants to, he says he wants to get the country back to being great again um, for us. Um, we would like to see, you know, the release of Parnabab Yanun. That's what we want to see. And if he's not the, um, the person that, you know, I said he was, that's really what we want to see. So, yeah, I mean, people are saying to me, how did you know? And I'm saying, like, it's not really me because the master teacher has been predicting many things and told us many things over the years um, and every single thing he has ever said has come true. So when he says something or when we read something, for those of us who have been following and reading his scrolls for a very long time, it's just like, it's a done deal. Sometimes things will come out and people will be like, he was wrong. Like, for example, when he was saying about um, the year 2000 and crafts coming and some people say, oh, well, he was wrong. But he wasn't because in 2003, um, they made that movie of, of um, the fourth kind, you know, and, and that was dealing with the craft coming and picking up 144,000 people from Nome, Alaska. And if you watch that movie, The Fourth Kind, you will see that in the movie, the Anunnaki being actually speaks and, and they, that they actually show it because the movie is really about, it's a documentary and then, then they fill the gaps out that, you know, like where when the crafts came or when um, the ETs came, they lost contact. So, for example, the police might have a radio or a camera, but when that incident took place, 
they will lose the footage because you just get static noise. So in the movie, they will just fill out from the recollection of the people that were involved. So if you haven't seen that already, it's a very, very good movie to watch. Um, you know, because when you're dealing with close encounters, you know, there's like the first, the second, the third, and the fourth kind, which, um, you know, it's about contact. So, yeah, we're living, very, we're living in very interesting times. We have to see what happens next. Um, unfortunately, it seemed like um, a lot of people that were rooting for Kamala just kind of left. I don't even think there's been any statements or anything from her yet, but um, I, I suppose she's got to go away and deal with the emotional, you know, the emotional um, outcome from, from losing to Trump. I mean, it wasn't even by a, a small majority. He won, he won way outright. And there were people that were already saying that he's going to contest the election. Um, yeah, I like him because he, his character is it's actually very interesting in terms of how he doesn't really care. Remember that they said that he was almost assassinated with the, the clothes shave. Um, you know, they say that he, he was basically being blocked in every way. Obviously, he had a lot of indictment. And that's another thing as well. His court cool case, if you look at it, it was quite parallel to what they did to the master teacher. Um, him being accused of various things, but he was able to overcome all of that. And the same way he's been exonerated, um, that's what we want to see for the master teacher. So for us, really and truly, for me anyway, I'm not really speaking for everybody, I'm just saying that all we're interested in is if the master teacher can be released, if there's justice, if there's truly justice in America and he has the power to do that, that's what we want to see. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of black people, Latinos, and the African-American community voted for him, you know, this time for him to win. So we want to see him do the right thing. Do the right thing and let's get pa Pana Babianun out. Dr. Malachi ZK York, we want him out, like ASAP. That should be your first executive order. And then that way, everyone will say, you know, you're not who I'm saying you are. But um, what's interesting as well is Joe Rogan. Um, I remember Joe Rogan saying he was never going to interview him on his show. And then when I saw that happen, I was like, hmm. Because Joe Rogan has had a lot of good people on the show. Um, you know, we did the... the, um, the reflection on the one he had with um, Terence Howard. He had Bill Carson on there, he's had Cat Williams on there. Um, so to see, yeah, to see Donald Trump on there before he won, that was interesting. And then um, who else is interesting? Elon Musk, that's interesting because I've spoken about him as well before and he's behind Donald Trump's camp. So it's interesting to see all the people like, as I said, Joe Rogan, Elon Musk and um, a few other people that are like uh, with him. So it's going to be a very interesting year. Let's see what's going to happen because Elon has got the technology, he's got the money. I think he's like got 25 billion or some ridiculous amount of money. Um, so that's good because if Trump's a businessman, then he's obviously looking to bring the debt down. He's looking to work with people like Elon Musk with the technology. Um, when he did his speech, he was saying how when he saw that the rocket ship that came down, you know, the Elon Musk rocket ship that's re reusable, it was able to come and just get, you know what I mean? Um, it just came down smoothly and he was like, nobody else can do this. Russia can't do this. China can't do this. You know, we're the only people that have this technology. So technology and the Elon Musk robots um, are going to be playing a major, a major, major impact. It's going to have a major impact because a lot of these robots are going to be able to do me, me no task and many jobs may be at risk with AI and the, the robots coming in. So very interesting times. We knew that he was going to win. I said it, I think I said it last year or early, early this year sometime. And so to see it come to, to, to fruition means that yeah, we better be ready. Like I said, it was going to be a very interesting year um, for us. You know, don't get distracted. Yeah, Wu Sabat is about reaching the minds and the souls and the hearts 
and it's about bringing about peace, love and unity. And Trump has also said he's going to do that in terms of, you know, bringing peace between Russia and Ukraine and, and the war in Israel. And, you know, we want to get rid of all the wars and the chaos and the fighting and the killings and all of that. So if he's, you know, um, about peace, love and unity, which is what Wu Sabat is about, then we want the master teacher partner Babylon free. We want all the wars to stop. We want to make sure that everyone, you know, is able to live and not worrying about prices going up. Um, we want to just have a peaceful world. So, yeah, I want to see. I want to see Donald Trump prove me wrong by doing these things because his speech. He said that's what he said he's going to do. He said that he's going to end the wars. There was there weren't any wars under his watch when he had his first term. And um, another thing I found interesting recently as well, the the, the Baron Trump novels there's been a few people talking about them on, on social media if you don't know what i'm talking about there were books a series of books that were written in the 1800 or something um, one of them is called the last president and um, people are like you know there are parallels between what's happened with the book so you know there's a main character in the book called don and um, his son is called baron and so people are looking at Don as being Donald and Baron being Trump's son. And the whole title of the book called, being called The Last President is actually quite intriguing and interesting to see what unravels between now and 2030. Because, um, you know, they're talking about 2025. But between now and 2030, we know from our doctrine, from the Holy Tablets, if you look at the back of it, you see the seventh thunder is... 2030, the end of the world as you know it. Now, that don't mean doomsday, the end of poverty, end of chaos, end of wars, end of in, um, wrongfully imprisonment. We just want to live happily and um, ever after, if we want to say, say that. But yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad we're right. And um, until actually, until something actually happens, people will say, how do you know? The thing is, you only know something when it happens. That's when it's confirmed. Until then, it's just speculation, opinions, you might be guessing. But when it comes through, there's no arguments. It's an actual fact now. He has won. He's the next president. And he's going to do another term for four years. What's interesting as well, I'm quite into numerology, right? So I was looking at the date when he did that final rally, um, October the 27th. 2024 and I was like hmm October is 10 in terms of the month the number then the 27th was 2 plus 7 is 9 I'm like okay that's 10 9 and then when you look at the um, 2024 you add that up that's 8 so it's like a countdown from the 10th month the 27th is number 9 then the 2024 is number 8 and then you carry on, you're like, okay, we're going on to 2030. He's going to do four years. So his term's going to end around 2028. And then between that and uh, 2030 is six years from 2024. So between that, there will be the seventh, which is the seventh thunder. I, write, I found that really interesting. So it's literally like, if you look at this, a countdown from 10, 9, 8. 7th, 6th, the book, of the, the title of the book I held up was what? Leviathan 666. Six, six. So it's actually really interesting to see how everything is going to unfold between now and 2030. It can only be one or the other. The new world order, the new world, is that a, is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? Is it a positive thing or is it a negative thing? Because many things are taking place in the world right now. And we just have to, yeah, we have to be watching. We have to watch every day. Um, they say it's the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Yeah, so like I said, it's great for some people and it's going to be dreadful for some people because, you know, it's like the, the divide is becoming more and more obvious now. It's either the rich or you're poor. The, the gap in between is becoming obscured now. So, it's, yeah, it's interesting to see what's going to happen between now and 2030. Um, we on Wusabat, 
we're reaching the world. We want people to, to, to deal with facts, deal with, you know, love and unity, deal with, yeah, just like waking up and raising your vibration, raising your consciousness so we can make this world a much better place for everyone and for all of us to live. So, yeah, Trump's won. That's it. Yeah, so um, the last time you asked me the question about the Antichrist, and um, I'm going to go into that, but I just want to show you a couple of scrolls because um, Dr. Malachi Z. York has already prepared us. Like This came out in like the 90s called Be Prepared for the Antichrist. Um, Fake Gods and Christ. These two books are called Leviathan, yeah? These Leviathan books, there's like four of them, yeah? Parts one to four. Now, what you can see on there, right? There's a picture of a person. This is talking about the horns, yeah? The ten horns in the books of Revelation and so on, right? If you look at that picture clearly, that's the master broke down to us that that was Donald Trump. Remember, these books came out many, many years ago. And obviously, when you're talking about um, the book of Revelation, which is like the book that people say for prophecy, yeah? He put out like, the book of Revelation many, many years ago. And he also put out this book called A Year 2000 and What to Expect. And this was again in the 90s, telling us about what was going to happen in the year 2000 and what to expect. And many people who have already read this scroll would tell you that Everything he has spoken about has come to pass. And then finally, this is the holy Injil. The Injil is what Muslims call or term the revelations. And in this, it talks about these end times. So when I said to you that um, the Antichrist, when you look at the word and broke it down, was Christians, because you've got the word Christ and then you've got anti going the other way, you have to realise that most monotheistic religions are actually all based on Christianity. They are Christians. Because even in the Quran, the Quran speaks more about the prophet Isa, or who they call Isa, as in Jesus, more than anyone, right? Now, this year is a serious year. And if you go to the books of Matthew, yeah? Matthew 24, verse 3. And again, remember, we've been breaking down the numerology. Matthew 24, 3. You see the number 24 again and you see the number 3. And you can even go to Matthew 24, 6. Matthew 24, um, 3 talks about the end of the world. And Matthew um, 24, 6, again, 6, 2 plus 4, 6, it talks about um, when the wars are going to be happening between, you know, nations against nations. I'm building this up to say that the year we're in now, 2024, is a very significant year because if you notice, Sweden was just allowed into NATO and Sweden represents the 10th horn. Now, who is the Antichrist on the planet? I said last video that the Antichrist was Nana. That's N-A-N-N-A-R, right? Nana is the son of Enlil. He's an extraterrestrial, but he comes and he goes, right? But he has a representative on the planet who's like the person that he allows to run the planet, and that's Donald Trump, right? Listen to this, and that I showed you. The master teacher already put Donald Trump's face on this, on these, in these books, right? Many years ago. Now, why do we say Trump? The book of Revelations talks about the trumpets. It, it tells you about the seven trumpets and when... These are blown, the last trumpet, the seventh trumpet is being blown and you hear the word Trump, trumpet. I know some, some people might think <laughs> this is a joke, but you're going to start seeing, right? The master teacher, Parnabab Yanun, Dr. Malachi Z. York, who is known as Malachi in the last book. Remember, the book of Revelations is the last book in the New Testament and the book of Malachi is the last book in the Old Testament. It's no coincidence it's called Malachi, Malachi Z.K. York. Malachi is the one that is bringing in the end of a world or what we're talking about when we say the end of the world, right? Now, Trump is the Antichrist that is representing Nana on the planet. Trump doesn't really play ball with 
the tea party and all of that. Like, he's his own man. He does his own thing. And the master broke down to us how on the, in the eighth year... Now, a lot of people took it to mean that Donald Trump was going to be in office for two terms because the first term is four years, second term, four years, so it'll be eight. But, you know, he said the eighth year. This year is the eighth year. And as you can see, he's running again. And he is that person that is going to win. And mark our words, because the master teacher has been giving us information for many years, 50 years ago. So a lot of what's going on on the planet today is no coincidence, yeah? So you will see, you have other people like Elon Musk, yeah? These people are trying to get off the planet. I mentioned before in a previous video about alternative one, two, and three. Alternative one was to what? Genocide, kill people off the planet. But it didn't work, especially with us, because we multiply like roaches, as they say, yeah? So alternative two, they were trying to get off the surface of the planet and go into the inner caverns, go into Shambhala and Agatha, which is the subterranean world in the centre of the earth. But as I've always also said in the past, they encountered many extraterrestrials, different beings that are already living there. I've named many in the past and I'll do it again. The Deros, the Teros, the Donakil, um, the Duanis, the... Um, there's so many, there's so many extraterrestrials, but many people have encountered, the Sasquatch, you know, that many people have encountered some of these extraterrestrials. So we're in a day and time where alternative three, they couldn't live on the, in, in the caverns because other extra, extraterrestrials drove them away. So now they're trying to get off the planet. Look how many spacecrafts, uh, spaceships, Elon Musk is trying to get off the planet. They're trying to go to, to the planet, um, to the moon. I also explained that there's, there are extraterrestrials, the greys inhabiting the moon now. All right, so they're trying to go to the moon. They're trying to go to other planets because a lot of people are talking about Apophis, yeah? These, there are three main meteorites, well, two meteorites that people are speaking about. One is called Bennu, which they discovered in 2004 that was approaching the planet. 2004, check out the numbers again, 20046. The other one is called Apophis. Apophis is called the, the Apophis is the devil in ancient Egypt. No coincidence there again. So what they're saying is they're going to launch this craft called Osiris Rex. Even with um, the Apophis meteorite, yeah, it's labeled 99942. That's the classification of the number for it. Listen to what we always say. Don't believe us. Check it out. Check out again, 999, and you got the 4 and the 2, what's that? 6, so you got 999 that way and you got the 6. So you're dealing with 9 and 6, 9 ether and 6 ether, right? So this year is the year where things are going to start getting peak. They're bringing in a lot of what people call the, um, the CBDC, which is the Central Bank Digital Currency, because they have to have a word, word one world order, yeah? One religion. If you've been following what's going on, there's one religion now. The Muslims and the um, Christians, they met up. So when you look at Antichrist, yeah, what we're saying is, as I explained, going against Christ. Every religion is under Christianity because that was the first church, right? So even Nation of Islam, it's a form of Christianity. They're waiting for someone to come. Islam, as I said already, is dealing with Christianity. They, they glorify Jesus in the Quran more than anyone else. The Torah, the Jews, they, they're dealing with waiting for the, the Messiah as well, right? Even though they don't say it in the same way as, as the Christians. So all of these religions go back to who? Abraham, right? Abraham, listen to what I said originally here yeah, in terms of you got the first Mithraites called Benu. If you look at that's an Egyptian word. The second one, Apophis, that relates to the Egyptian word for the devil. And then they've got a craft called Osiris Rex. Now, Osiris, Osiris Rex, Osiris again, ties back to ancient Egypt. And all of this, yeah, if you watch the movie called um, Deep Impact with Bruce Willis many years ago, they were already telling you what they can do. Because when something is coming into our orbit, 
and they spot it and it misses the planet, it goes around again. And that could take many years for it to come back around again and hit. And to destroy it and stop it from hitting the planet, there are many things you have to do because you have to time it right and it, it can take like a hundred years before it comes back around. So whatever craft you're going to build or develop to kind of intercept it, you will have to have the, the right trajectory, you have to have the right kind of mechanism, the right craft to be able to deal with this. But watch the movie called Deep Impact because they've been telling us this many, many, many years ago. So 2024 is that year where you have to be reborn again. Not into the Christian, because as I said, all religions, that's dealing with the Antichrist. And I also broke down, there's different types of Christians. So when I say Donald Trump's the Antichrist, he's anti-Christian, he's anti-religion, he's going to be against all those people in religion. Wu Sabat is not a religion. Wu Sabat is our own culture. So he's not anti-us. And if you really understand the world as is running today, everything that is evil has been made fair seeming. So you might be thinking you're doing the right thing, the right intentions. You think you're serving a God, but you're actually serving the Antichrist. Another movie to watch is They Live. That, that movie was trying to show people, look, put on these glasses so that you can see what's really going on. And we're here saying to you, Malachi is here. The book of Revelations, the first book, chapter 1-1, one, one, talks about the book of Revelations is supposed to be the book of Jesus, but it was given to the angel, right? Obviously, John was the one that received the vision, yeah? And if you read that book, because many people are afraid to touch that book, but the master teacher broke that down over 50 years ago. And as I've said to you, the ten horns are now in place with Sweden being allowed into NATO. So this year is going to be a serious year. So you need to get yourself in order. We talk about transforming yourself inside out because it's got to come from your heart. It's got to come from you doing the right thing. So you know within your heart what's truth and what's false. You know, so when I'm dealing with Antichrist, we're saying a lot of things are going to be coming into place. A lot of people already finding life hard, you know, with the cost of living crisis. People, there's so many food banks right now. So Wu Sabat is here. We're here to teach people the right information because Malachi chapter 4 verse 2 tells you that, you know, Malachi will be coming with healing. Yeah? Yeah, the son, S-U-N, check it out, the son of righteousness. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad prophesies that after him, only God will come. Now, when we say God is here and Dr. Malachi Z, your partner, Babi Anun, is God, don't get it twisted because we say you are God. Psalms 82, 6 says, is it not written in your laws that you are God? We've broken this down before. Every one of you is God, but you have to tap into the God inside of you. Make that light within you shine. But what it is these days is when you go on YouTube, go on the internet, go on TikTok, go on all the social media, you have so many people that are teaching and giving information and you're just like, you're kind of lost. You don't know, okay, I've heard all this information. I've named some names before. We've got people like um, Bill Carson who will give you some information and then he twists it up talking about Amun is a devil and all of that. Like if you know the doctrine and you study it, you can tell who's not giving you the correct information. But it's down to you to do your research, check things out. You have a lot of people talking out there, but what it is, is you need to know the, the truth, the foundation, which is Wu Sabat, and then you can read everything and listen to everyone else, but at least you have a focus, you have a foundation. That's why, that's why we put out the book. I always have to remind people because we realise when people get so much information, when they're awoke, when they start to get, you know, conscious, they get brother polite, they get young elder, the young pharaoh, you've got... Bill Carson, you've got the so-called conscious community. You've got so many people that are trying to tell you, but listen to all those names, Bennu, Osiris, Apophis, that all ends up back in Egypt because all the religions come from Egypt anyway. And we keep saying Wu Sabat predates all of them. And that's why we can, we can talk to anyone. 
about anything. We keep saying, ask us anything. Because the only way you're going to know is to ask questions. Do your own research. Make up your own mind. Don't follow the, the blind. You know what I'm saying? It's like people say, um, what you don't know won't hurt you. That's so incorrect. What you don't know will hurt you. Imagine, yeah, I put poison in a cup and you don't know it's in the cup and I give it to you to drink. You don't know it's there. You're going to drink, it's going to hurt you. So that, that doesn't even make sense. The next thing you hear people say is, seeing is believing, seeing is knowing. Because hearsay is based on someone telling you something. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like It's, it's down to you to use your eyes and realise, not these eyes, the real eyes, your third eye. Do you know what I mean? Because that's where you get clear vision. And we here at Wu Sabat, we deal with getting your health right. Because a lot of like, like we said, they put fluoride in the water and certain things that's going to dumb you down, dumb, dumb down your ability to like raise your high consciousness. Yeah, so I'm saying this year is a serious year. If you really want to know, tune into OSM Vision, subscribe because we keep coming up with the videos and we're going to keep coming up with the videos. We've got the book, we've got the online course, we have the three weekly classes, there's one tomorrow, and we're going to go out, go on the streets as well, get back to touching and reaching the people because so many people are just hiding behind social media. You know, we are here, we're real, we're live. So come, come and check us out, get your health in order, clean yourself inside out with the herbs, prepare for what's coming and um, tying into what people are saying about the, the people are saying April the 8th, this mutual right is going to hit, uh, obviously got the eclipse that's coming. D this is, again, if you know the science that the ring, this is what's happening when you look at the ring of Saturn, when you have an eclipse, you just barely see that ring around where the sun's being blocked. These are all signs because the master teacher told us to look out for these signs. And this sign is not a coincidence that is happening in 2024. The war that's going on, yeah, that the Russian Ukraine, this can get out of hand. Right now, they can blow up this planet. They have the capability to do that. I'm talking about the Antichrist, the devil's children. They can blow up this planet. And some of them are trying to get off. And the nuclear weapons and with the possibility of the meteorite hitting, plus the possibility of... Um, Putin can just launch, <laughs> he can just push a button and launch, do you know what I mean, missiles. And this can be a global thing. So it's a very serious year. It's a serious year in terms of you've got to get yourself to, to, together in order. Get your conscious up, you know, you're, you have to turn yourself inside out. You have to deal with love, yeah. When we say love, not that backwards, because backwards is antichrist, it's evil. Like the word, God backwards is dog, dealing with the dog star, dealing with the people that worship the dog. Yeah, this is a lot, like, we, we can't give it to you all at once, so you have to plug in.